Right, so I'm gonna show you how to download any file that I release, whether it be a Nosu skin or a skin overlay or whatever. It's gonna be the same way, so I'm gonna show you how. S simply go into any one of my videos, so right now you're on one. Scroll down to the description and look for a Discord invite link. Just go ahead and join that Discord server. Now once you're here, press the rules, and then once you finish reading everything, go ahead and press this check mark, and you're gonna get a role that will let you see all the other servers. So once you're here, you can go ahead and go to the download, and over here will be every single skin and overlay that I released. So yeah. Right, so first I'm gonna show you how to change this to your own. So you know, just go ahead and up here. There's the name. Uh, this is gonna be this uh, text. So you can just press T and change it to whatever name you want. And then this is the first link. So this is the one above. And this one underneath. Just change it to whatever link you want it to be. And if you don't want this or you only want one, you can just press delete on whichever you want to delete. And then there's this tree which you're gonna have to export uh, separately. So first of all, just export it as it is. Uh, Control Shift Alt W. You know, export it as a PNG, of course. Once you export it, we'll just uh, turn the visibility off. But mind you, this is the only thing you want to... This You don't touch this, okay? The only thing you're gonna touch in here is the visibility option, not anything else. Just turn this off and then export it again. Make sure it's a different name so it doesn't overlap with each other. And now we can go ahead and close this. Now, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install it into Streamlabs. So, for example, I'm gonna be using Streamlabs OBS. Just go ahead and go down, make a new scene. Okay, now once you're on the new scene, go ahead and put the source, which is gonna be, first of all, the image. Just go ahead and make a new source. Uh, find the image file at uh, your folders. It's gonna be this one. It's gonna be the base and add another image uh, source and this one is gonna be this one the text and the tree just press ok and that's gonna instantly overlap with each other now in the middle you're going to want to go to a media source press add source make a new source and local file now go ahead and find video that I will also link in the description below so you know find it Change the speed to whatever you like, if you want it to be faster, you want it to be slower. And then, once you're on the media source, press, just right click it. And then go to filters, press edit filter. Now go to this plus button. And then go press the chroma key. Now press done. And, oh yeah, make sure, make sure that the loop is active. Or not, it will just become black screen, like before. So yeah, go to your filters, edit filter. Now by default it should already be done, but if it, if there is gonna be like some green still, just turn this up. And if there's no more green, just turn this down. Default is 400 by the way, so make sure you keep that in mind. Now once you're done, resize Sora to however uh, big you want her to be in the screen. Now put her over here and. Once this is done, uh, place her underneath the tree, so she'll be behind it. Now, time to put your Osu. So, normally I use game capture, but you can use a window capture as well, or you can also use display capture. So personally I use game capture and just press add source osu and then you want to resize osu so I need to have osu open so I'm gonna open it right now Welcome to us. 
Right, so to make it easier for you people, uh, I have two monitors so I don't have to do this but if you only have one this is gonna make it easier for you guys. Go to option and go down here and put this full screen mode, turn it off. This way your OBS can be above it and if you alt tap the OSU will stay in your Streamlabs OBS and if you don't know if you have full screen mode on if you alt tap your OSU on the Streamlabs OBS will not pop up so turn it off so you can set it up correctly go down here and just fit it correctly you can use your arrow keys if you want to make very small adjustments Once you're done with the size adjustments, just go ahead and put this underneath. So it's going to be underneath everything else. And for the webcam, you have to go ahead and press this plus button like before. And you're going to want to press video. Where is it? Video capture device, yes. Alright, now go press add source and this is going to be your webcam. Just press add source uh, on the USB camera or whatever camera you're using. So I'm not gonna add a new source, I'm just gonna use my already existing webcam source. Press add source and it's gonna be very, very big. So, so I make this smaller. Just, uh, resize it again and put it on the correct place. And for uh, resizing and putting it on the right place, I recommend you anchor it from the top left because there is some drop shadows from the overlay. Once that's done, also put this above the image, that way it doesn't overlap with the overlay itself. And now uh, you're gonna want to have this, which is goes to memory. I showed you how to install it in another video, which I will link on the top right right now. You see there's a card. Go click on that video if you haven't installed Ghost to Memory already. So simply have Osu open. I'm just gonna have it on a random song. Now open up Ghost to Memory and go ahead and visit the link that's on here. Put it in your Google Chrome. Now this is all gonna be I think every one of these except for simplistic is the default one, so you should have all of them already and just go find you want now for this one i'm going to be using the monokai pane because this is the one that i based this one off so i recommend using the monokai pane let's go ahead and copy the link and you can close the chrome tab press the add a new scene and go to browser source and go ahead add a new source i'm just going to do this for the tutorial put the url in here just paste it and then press refresh cache for the width and height, just keep it on default. This will not change anything. And just drag it down over to this little box. You can resize it if you want, but you don't have to. Just put it there. And that's pretty much it. So before the gameplay, I want to show you that I have an animated uh, wallpaper. And if you want to see how I get an animated wallpaper, check out the video on the card up here on the top right. I will doubt that's a video I made showing you how to get a custom wallpaper uh, for free, no wallpaper engine whatsoever. So uh, yeah, go check out that video.